so first i'll go to security group let me go to security group first <coughs> okay security groups right i will open this so let me create a new security group okay so create security group okay so uh, so basically i have to give what security group name, name right okay i'll give a security group name my security group okay then description if we can give anything i can copy and paste over here okay paste fine see we have to mandatorily select one vpc for which vpc you want to create a security group right so here you can see that inbound rule and outbound rule what is the difference between inbound and outbound in this context outbound outgo uh, okay, outbound is outgoing but what is the difference between these two rule see here you can see that we don't have any inbound rule right what about outbound all traffic is enabled so that's what uh, security group is called stateful so which mean if you want to allow any rule as a inbound automatically outbound will be enabled that's it see i didn't allow any outbound traffic right so when i created new security group automatically a uh, vpc itself or else aws itself allowing all outbound rule i only need to select for example i need to allow port number 22 so i will search for ssh see now i'm allowing port number 22 as a inbound rule so automatically allow port number 22 as a outbound rule you getting the concept right so now next i'll go to my nacl so that's what this security group is called what stateful okay we only need to allow inbound rule one <coughs> okay so now i'll create nacl okay so for that we have to go to vpc let me uh, search for vpc Uh, I will select network access control list. Please, please listen. So I will open network access control list. Okay, so I'm going to create new NACL. Okay, same as a security group. So create a network <coughs> access control list. So I'll provide a name, my NACL, NACL. So I'll select one of one VPC. Okay, then create a network access control list. Successfully created. Yeah. What is my NACL name? My NACL. Okay, fine. So let it come first. Okay, so my NACL, right? So I will open this NACL, then I'll go to inbound and outbound rule. So what is the inbound rule? All traffic denied, right? So what about the outbound traffic? All traffic denied. See, that's what NACL is called stateless. See, in NACL, if you allow in port number twenty-two as inbound rule, so what do you have to do? you have to go to outbound then you have to allow port number 22 outbound as well then only it will work but in ssh sorry security group only inbound okay in security group you only need to allow inbound rule okay outbound automatically will be allowed so that's what it's called stateful set okay in interview they will ask why we calling security group as stateful and why we calling stateless as nacl okay so we should thoroughly understand what is the difference between stateful and stateless actually we know that security group that's a stateful and nacl is a stateless but actually we don't know how it comes a stateful and stateless right that's what so uh, when you creating nacl you have to create uh, inbound rule same as equivalent outbound rule then only it will work if you only allow inbound rule it will not work so you have to give equivalent outbound, outbound rule as you getting the stateful and stateless right any doubt no uh next point situated on top of subnet and situated on top of ect machine any doubt no 
so uh, when you creating knackle so we can create knackle on top of subnet only we cannot attach one knackle with the ec2 machine or eni right that's it so next working based on priority okay let's see i'll go to my knackle then i'll go to inbound then edit inbound rule okay so here you can see that rule number okay so add a new rule <coughs> So I will add a new rule 200. So then I will allow SSH protocol SSH. Then okay, all traffic. Then I will allow this rule. Okay. So I'll create one more rule. And this is I will create one double nine. And this is SSH only. But I will deny this rule. Okay. Which rule is going to take first? Eh? 199. That's it. So this knackle that's working based on priority. See which rule you given uh, at least and this is going to evaluate first and whatever the rule is saying so that will be applicable for our subnet. For example this rule number is a 201. Okay then what is the effect? Allow or deny? Allow only. That's it. It will take the first one. See whatever the first rule for uh, whether it is allow or deny it will take the first one then it will exit. Any doubt? No. So if I go to my security groups so that is different where is security group okay so security group we don't have any a uh, priority so you can create a rule as much as you want up to 60 inbound or up to 60 inbound rule see i'll create one more rule but actually we don't have any option to select what rule number right so i will select ssh and uh, then i will custom okay ipv4 okay that's it so we don't have any option to select allow or we don't have any select option to select priority rule number. Okay, that's it. So in SSH, we don't have any option to select rule number, but NACL we have an option to select rule number. NACL is working based on priority. If you uh, if you created a rule, rule number one, then you created the same rule number, rule number two as a denied, then it will take the first rule on. Okay, so if you already uh, given one instruction to deny the rule as a rule number two, but the same rule you created as a one, as a allow, then it will take the first one on. That's pass out. Pass out. Second, other work here. Add cool. Evaluate here. Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Can allow and deny rule. In NACL, we can allow and we can deny. But in security group, only, only allow. allow. That's it. See, in security group, we don't have any option to allow or deny. Only allow. But in NACL, we have an option to allow and deny. See, allow and deny. We have a two option. Okay. Next. Uh, can have a 200 knackle in a VPC and we can we can have up to 40 rules in each knackle. So same as one knackle with one subnet so that we already know we already discussed that and applicable to all resources which are residing on a subnet. Any doubt regarding knackle and security group? Stateless so that's a very important stateless and stateful and we can have up to 200 knackle and security group we can have up to 2500 and knackle is a priority based and security group that is no priority no rule at all then in NACL we can have allow and deny and security group we can only have allow okay any doubt no 